Here are eight common myths about the brain. One, we only use 10% of our brain. This is such a widespread myth that I can't believe it's still around. In reality, neuroscience shows that different parts of our brain have different functions, which are active at different parts of the day and night. Two, listening to classical music makes you smarter. This is an effect known as the Mozart effect. The, listening, the idea that listening to Mozart music will boost your intelligence, which is the reason why so many baby toys have a classical musical button on it, so that parents can feel like their child is getting smarter without much effort. This myth helps toy companies sell a lot of toys. While music can definitely have cognitive benefits, the effects are not exclusive to classical music. Number three, older adults can't generate new brain cells. Contrary to popular belief, the hippocampus region in, of adults can generate up to 1,500 new neurons every day. This is a process called neurogenesis. The hippocampus area of the brain is a region associated with memory and learning. Number four, left brain people are logical and right brain people are creative. While certain brain functions may be localised in one hemisphere, the brain works as an interconnected system. So to be logical or to be creative, you need to use both sides of the brain. Number five, memory works like a video camera. Contrary to the belief that your memory is a perfect recording, it is highly susceptible to change, being easily influenced by emotions, context and other factors, so it isn't as accurate as you think. If you're liking this video, please click the like button, share and subscribe. Six, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. This myth shows, suggests that older adults have a limited capacity to learn. However, neuroplasticity allows the brain to adapt and change throughout life, enabling ongoing learning and skill development. Number seven, that we only have five senses. This is a common brain myth that they are still teaching at school. I've seen it in my children's school books. In reality, we have a lot more senses than five, including the sense of balance, the sense of body position, the sense of pain, thermoregulation, interoception, and more. This becomes particularly important when assessing sensory dysregulation for individuals with autism. And eight, that brain damage is always permanent. In reality, the brain has a remarkable ability to reorganize itself and recover from damage, a process called neuroplasticity. And if you're interested in learning more about that, click here for a video about that.